What was that? What was that? Say, say that one more time, Supercell? What? That is correct, everybody. We're not hearing things. Or maybe we are. I think I'm hearing Carlos snoring right now or something, but either way, guys, we have a brand new Supercell game coming into beta. It is called Waterfall Rush. You can choose either this waterfall. You can choose either this waterfall. Or you can choose... One second. Where is it? Okay, I lied. It's either this waterfall or this beautiful waterfall here. And what you do is slowly attack each other. Big waterfall's the winner. And that's the game, guys. I know you were all so disappointed that we're not getting waterfall wars. It is heyday pop. You can see right up the start. We're just gonna do the quick tutorial here. We're starting, man. But I want to talk about how you guys can download it as well, um, because it's only released in a few select countries. But it's not much to look at now. But just imagine the possibilities. So look at this. This is like a completed full-on base. It's a base builder puzzle game. And that's how our base would look if we fully completed it, like built our own city on acres. So you can see right here, if you played Spooky Pop, it may look a little similar to that. So think of like Spooky Pop and Heyday, Clash of Clans, base builders, whatever, and good to go. So you're trying to collect these little things here. Um, what, if you get two of them together, you can do a move. Obviously you can see my goal at the top is to get those red ones. So doing blue or anything else won't get me anywhere. And we just hit a powerful move, so we're good to go. Now I just gotta get the gold ones. Boom. Getting these presents and presents. Now obviously keep in mind this is a tutorial. They don't want noobs to get discouraged right away. I'm looking at you, John. That's right, we, we got our eyes on you. <laughs> this tutorial is for you. Sorry, that was me. I'm just kidding. This tutorial was for me, for Ben, the noob. <laughs> but yeah, as you can go, as you go along, you get different objectives and everything, obviously. Already played this a little bit, so we know what's up. We're pros at this game. Look at this. Oh, the quickness, the speed, the ability, the versatility. So quickly how you guys can download and play this game for yourself. It is in beta phase, and it's only being released in Australia, New Zealand, and Finland. Both for iOS 11 and above devices, and Android and 7, or not devices, just you need iOS 11 on your device, and Android 7 and above. If you do not live in one of those countries, and you have an iOS device, there is a way for you to be able to download this game as well. So basically all you need is a brand new email address, like a Gmail or something, and then sign out of your Apple ID, and then basically reset your device or whatever, then go back to the App Store, try and download a free app, and then it's gonna prompt you to create a new Apple ID or sign in, hit create a new one with that new email address you just used, and then go from there, and then you're gonna wanna switch regions, and then you're gonna need like a, address in Australia, just Google an address there, put that in there, and you can get to the Australia App Store and download this. Now, if you want a, that's a lot of steps right there. If you want a full detailed list on how to do it, obviously one, you can Google it. Or our friend, Nick at Night made a epic guide on this, um, and he goes step by step in depth and very precise. It's a little bit longer of a video, but way quicker than I can. But I'll leave a link to his video in the description where it tells you step by step everything you need to do to download this game. But now, you guys wanna see my progress after like an hour of playing? Let's get into it. All right, enough of that noob crap. We beat the tutorial after an hour of playing. I'm a god in this game. I'm just kidding, I'm level four. But after playing just that little bit, I have a good grasp on how the game is, so I'll tell you guys about it and give you my honest feedback and opinions on this game. I'm very curious as well to hear your thoughts though. Like leave a comment down below your honest opinions. Do you like the game? Do you not? Do you think you find yourself playing it? Or are you just gonna be like, eh, I'm not that interested. So let me know down below. I wanna hear your thoughts. But yeah, so basically it's a base builder like Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, and Heyday, obviously. And it's like Candy Crush kind of combined. So yeah, you have your base that you build up and you try unlock different areas of the map. How you get to these different areas of the map. See like right here, I get this next area unlocked when I get to level five. There's a whole lot of other maps in the game to get to, which you saw like at the beginning, right when it started like a full base. You can get crops that come back every few hours that help you get stars. You have a shop to build stuff, decorations. You see my, you see my, my, my house is a little plain here. Very, very plain. Let's get some decorations, man. The Golden Gnome! We gotta put this bad boy right in center. We, we Look at that, that truck needs to see the Golden Gnome. 
But yeah, so you build your base, clear it out, whatever you gotta do, collect things. So yeah, this, the main goal is to collect stars from hitting the play button on the bottom. And you see these special boosters? You can gem these, you get these from getting further when you collect more stars, and so on and so on, but you don't need to, you can see, look at it. Dude, I'm, a, I'm officially a pro at Heyday Pop! I'm on a 20 win streak here! Yeah, you play, and then every time you go into a puzzle, you can see the objective, what you need to do to win at the, at the top. So, we have to collect 8 bacon strips and destroy 28 hay bales. And then basically there's little other puzzles on the map. Since we're on a huge win streak, we have star stuff starting off to start like these little bombs that help us out. And little line zappers. So as you keep going, the, the more colors you hit together, and better chances. You can see you just gotta hit a pop, or pop a block near the hay bales and it gets going. But once you get like a crazy amount of colors together, it gives you a little special thing. Boom! Now you don't have to hit it right away because you can stack these and do like little combo moves if you get a bunch of them together, which is quite epic. So we'll try and do that. We'll try and do a huge combo here. All right, whatever. I just want to show you guys one combo right now. Combo blast! Pop, 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 pop! At the bottom as well, you may notice I've collected a hammer, a paintbrush, and a watering can. Those are like last resorts if you can't beat a level. They'll help you out, like, they each have- they each do do little different things, like, tap a block to pop it. Tap any block to shuffle colors. Tap anywhere to wash away your troubles. <laughs> I assume there's many more of them- oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I assume there's many more of them on the map to get, and we gotta continue to hit this pig. We need to get our eight bacons, man! We gotta bring home the bacon for everyone! So basically, we just gotta pop blocks around the pig, and we're gonna get more bacon strips once he reaches the boiling point. There we go. Boom. I got one move left? Oh my gosh, guys. We failed. This will be my first loss. I have play-ons, and you get these by like completing like a trophy road, kind of like Clash Royale or progress with the stars as you go. Five moves left. That's all we got. We're going full try. We need three bacon strips. We're gonna pop, smack him in the face with that hammer. We're not losing today. Three moves left. We're gonna hit him another one. We need one more bacon strip with three moves left. Let's do this. Hit this. Now we have our little combo moves to get going. Oh my. The dirtiness. So, I kind of want to lose next game to see, because I haven't lost yet. You, you may find that hard to believe, but I'm, I'm a gemmer, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I seriously haven't lost yet, so if I lose, I probably do lose like a life energy. You can see the top left, 16 hearts. If I lose, I probably lose one of those. And then if I completely get out of hearts, I probably can't play anymore until a certain amount of time. But yeah, as you keep playing and getting more stars with this, you move up this little trophy road or a fresh start road, it's called a season. And as you get further, you collect these new things. We got a little box to open up here. We got another paintbrush, another hammer, another rocket. So we can use those, we got more gold, we have another Add five to the turns. Another one of these to go. Hammer, popcorn, dynamite. Okay, we'll take it. So now we're literally only seven stars away from completing this season. And there's always going to be seasons coming. And however you get further and further, you guys know the puzzle games, they go on forever. But if we get this little present, I'm curious to see what's in there. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I explained this too, but like you build little structures on the map too. You can see how this one resets in 30 minutes. And they, when you log on and you can click it after they grow and you just click them collect your crops and everything. They give you stars as well to help you progress. Because I really want to get to level five first. One second. We're literally just going to build a gnome fortress, man. We don't want any trees or decorations. We just want gnomes. <laughs> All right, so we are now level five and we get to unlock a new area. And every new area comes with its little things, progression that you can buy in the shop. Like now we can get a pig pen, dude. But we're going to chop down these trees, man. Gnomes only get out of your tree get out of your tree get out of your rock we're gonna do both we're gonna get this pig pen up and running hey there little piggy and bacon is delicious dude that's that's not something you say in front of a pig come on the bacon we're gonna get the bacon we're gonna get the bacon come on show me the bacon a pig popping out of there oh my gosh yeah the bacon watch it's gonna give me a star i think so yeah there we go collected a star from the bacon. What up, fools? And when do I get more bacon? Gotta wait 12 hours for more bacon? 
We do, we do just need to get five more stars, though. Um, so I'm gonna get those quick to open that last present. But while we do this, I'm gonna talk about my honest thoughts of the game. Um, it's it's very different from any Supercell game there ever, ever, there ever has been. There isn't a whole lot of depth to the game. I mean, yes, there's different strategies and different obstacles probably as you get further that we don't even know yet that you're gonna have to complete and obviously you can get better at popping the blocks and learning combos and all that but in, in general like this seems like a very casual game and for me it, it's not kind of my game that i play i was never really a big fan of candy crush i know the dev said it's really it's different than it but i really feel a similar vibe to it um so for me it's not a game I can see myself sitting down and playing for hours. Uh, I can see it maybe hopping on and just playing a little bit here and there and passing. But Clash Royale and Brawl Stars have really set the bar high for me for mobile games. And I don't know. I mean, it's a cool take on the puzzle building, world building, and everything else. But for me, I don't see myself playing this super regularly. But... Let me know your thoughts on it. Like, if there was ever, like, where you could maybe, at real time, battle another person in, like, a PvP puzzle bit, like, how do you say it? I get this is beta, too, but, like, if, say, I had this puzzle to complete and I was going up against another person to see who can complete it faster or the least amount of moves, I will be probably more into that. Um, because then there's, like, the PvP aspect of it. This one, it just seems like it's of you progressing along yourself um i mean i get a lot of people love those games as well so i get why supercell wants to maybe get into this genre of games because of how popular they are so i totally get that but for me it's just not my kind of game um, wow we just got it right at the end there so we'll take our star so in general it's very polished of a game and everything. Uh, I don't see myself making too much content around it, or if any. If you are a Candy Crush lover, um, and maybe a Heyday lover, and Clash of Clans lover, combine those two, this might be a perfect game for you. And keep in mind, this is in beta, so a lot of things could still come. Just need three three stars, one second. I'm very curious to see what's in that little present box, though. The all-time best, 23 win streaks. Can anyone beat me? Probably. I'm still a noob, dude. But here we go. We completed the season now. The first season. We're unlocking this little present in chest. What could it be? Hey, dude. It's the golden heyday statue. So we place it, and that just shows that we completed the season. What a handsome fella. Oh, man. But either way, let me know your thoughts on the game. Like I said, it's not really my style of game. Let me know your thoughts. I'm really love to, I would really love to hear it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for Awesome Brawl Star. Stay tuned for Awesome Supercell Mobile Whatever Brawl Stars videos. And I'll see you guys later.